Hello guys, welcome to Collab Videos. Today I will show you how to change the background image of Cisco IP phones. So here I am using Cisco IP communicator as my phone. So first we will look into the process or the steps of changing background images. Now there are mainly five steps for changing the background image. Step number one is to set up the thumbnail file and the image uh, with proper size. Then the next one is to create the list.xml file or append the information new Im new image informations to an existing file existing xml file then upload these files to our tftp file management system then restart the tftp service then at last go to phone and change the background image okay cool so let's get started with step one here i'm using uh, this picture This picture as my IP communicator background image. Okay. So Cisco has some prerequisites or defined pixel size for various IP phones. Here is the size chart defined uh, for various Cisco IP phones. In our case, we are using CIPC, so we have to create an image with the size of uh, 320 by 212 pixels and for thumbnail we have to use 80 by 53 and this is the location where we have to upload the file okay so and also we need to upload the list.xml file to the same location and uh, be careful while typing the path because it is case sensitive so i'm going to change the size of this image okay so before changing the size you can check the details of that image go to properties and go to details here you can see the current dimensions like width and uh, height of that image so this we need to change to 320 into 212 so i'm not going to use any third party software here i'm going to use uh, uh, microsoft paint so just open it in paint uh, go to resize check the pixel option Uncheck the maintain aspect ratio. Set here 320, 212. Okay, pick OK. Then go to file, save as PNG. Text to this. I have to select the folder here. Images. I'm giving the name as CIPC. Okay, and this type must be in png format okay so our background image is ready now and we have to create another uh, uh, thumbnail image as well so again we have to go to resize select the pixel option and check the maintain aspect ratio uh, height will be 80 sorry uh, horizontal will be 80 height will be 53 give okay and go to file save as save as png format capc i'm changing the name to capc thumbnail gn okay so now we are ready with both the images thumbnail and the background images this is not the file uh, these are the two files okay and uh, now we want to create a list.xml file so if you don't know the format of uh, list.xml file you can copy the um, you can copy the um, existing list.xml file from the tftp file management system so for that uh, log into os admin page so you see my admin page uh, go to software upgrades tftp file manager select the file name begins with uh, uh, list.xml and uh, so you can see all the existing list.xml file here so for getting this file uh, open a new browser and um, type the url using http semicolon slash slash 192 your tftp address okay 92 or 168.2.5 slash sorry um colon 6970 is the port number 
slash then copy this location paste it here copy the file name put a slash and paste the file name over the click enter okay so now you are ready with the file copy the entire file from here go to notepad plus plus paste it here um, actually uh, this is the starting of this file and this is the ending okay remove the in between lay lines all the in between lines okay just keep one one line so here we have to put our desktop location mm -hmm. Our location is 320.212. Okay. This will be the same location. We have to paste it here as well. Okay, so this is the location uh, we are showing the thumbnail file. So we have to give the file name here. Oh, C I P C T N. Let me let, let me double check the file name. C I P C T N. Okay, the other one is C I P C. Okay, so this is the here we have to mention the exact file name, the background image name C I P C. Okay okay so that's it let the rest of the lines keep it as it is okay now we have to save this file in xml format uh, and the name must be list list and uh, save type as xml extensible markup language save it yes I'll save it in the same folder. Okay, so now you can see this is now in, in XML format. Let's close this. Go to TFTP file management system. Just before that, let me double check that. So we are ready with all the three files. Okay, our list.xml, thumbnail file, our uh, real background image. Okay. So now if you uh, Okay, so you can now upload those files to our location. Choose the file here. Let me upload the list.xml first. The download uh, the directory must be our directory name is desktop slash 320 slash. Uh, let me double check that desktop slash 320 right? Then yeah, upload that file. Click on upload. can see the message the file uploaded successfully the same way the rest of the two files we have to upload to the same location okay all the three files are uploaded successfully so if you if you just double click that location If you check that location guys you filter you filter this content tftp file content using the directory begins with that particular location click that we can see those uploaded images here okay so now all the files are uploaded to tftp in man file management system now we have to go to tftp service and restart the service Visibility admin the cloud go to tools feature services select the TFTP server in my case it is 2.5 2.5 
so if you scroll down you can see the Cisco TFTP here check that and reset the service can see the message so TFTP service restarted successfully so now we can go to phone and check whether the image is taken or not so settings user preference background image it is the select save exit okay yeah, so we are done with the change thank you